Kiss me, baby. Kiss me. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community committed to helping people pursue their passions by offering thousands of inspiring classes. I enjoy scrolling through their list of classes in the evenings and watching two or three while I unwind for the day. Jane Davies is an artist and teacher and I really like her class Simple Butterflies. It is absolutely mesmerizing watching her put the water on the paper and then she adds a little color to it and swirls it around and you watch those swirls just take on the look of a butterfly. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Hi, did you know there really was some secrets to making a great sandwich? You want to start with some really fresh bread, nice and soft. Nobody likes a dry sandwich. And I'll just give Mrs. Sycamore a shout out. We really like her bread. The next thing you want to do is butter your bread. And this does a couple of things. One, it tastes really good, but when you butter the bread, it it acts as a, a protection for your bread so your tomatoes and other things don't soak into the bread and give you a soggy sandwich. <music> One slice of bread, put the mayonnaise or the Miracle Whip. Basically, this is like a salad dressing. So on the side, of bread that you put the salad dressing is the side of the sandwich that you're going to build the vegetable side of the sandwich and then you put the mustard on the other slice of bread and that is the side of the sandwich that we're going to build our meat and cheese side so just watch for your salad side of the bread you start with the lettuce and then on top of the lettuce you put your tomato the lettuce helps with the juice from the tomato so it gets caught in the lettuce, doesn't go on down through the, to the bread. This is also the time that you salt and pepper and add any spices that you want to your tomato. If you're not going to eat the sandwich for a while, maybe you would want to put the tomato in a separate baggie and add the tomato just before you eat the sandwich. We really like sprouts on our sandwiches. In fact, many times we don't put the lettuce, we'll just put sprouts. But I really like sprouts. And the other thing we like are pickles. Then on the mustard side of the sandwich, that's when you put your meat. Because think about it, meat and the mustard, they complement each other. And the lettuce and the mayonnaise, salad side, they complement each other. So put those two flavors together. Put the meat and then the cheese on top of the side of the mustard. Now this side of the sandwich is easy to pick up and turn over. But this, in my opinion, is the base of the sandwich. So I'm going to put it on top. Then I'm going to turn my sandwich over. Pretty sandwich. Chad just got home and he said, <laughs> oh, no cookies. And this is even better. This is better for me. I don't need another half a dozen cookies. Well, yes, I do. You like cookies. <laughs> well. But this is going to be so nice. I, I saved yeah. mine to eat with you. I haven't oh, okay. cut mine. Yeah. So, Chad, do you like your sandwich cut I, this way? I like mine cut diagonally and okay. not, not horizontally. Okay. I just got through yeah. showing our viewers the correct way, in my opinion, to build a sandwich. I've never had a bad sandwich from you. <laughs> and it, it looks really good, and I can't wait to be done and retired so I don't have to take a lunch to work. I don't have to... You know, working from home has been nice, but it's, 
we're doing a little bit of both right now, but it's going to be nice. Well, I suppose you would be disappointed if you didn't at least take a bite out of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, I can tell you right now that sandwiches are one of my favorite foods. Yeah. What's nice is that you have all those ingredients and it doesn't just fall out. The bread's not soggy. You did it right. You did it right, didn't I? Mm -hmm. You know how to build them too, don't you? Yep. Yeah. I've been watching you for 40 years. My mama taught me well. Yeah, she did. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is... Oh, yeah. And thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice to come home and get a sandwich and say hello. And yeah. now I'm saying goodbye. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye. I don't know why, but whenever I watch movies, I, and I've seen it a couple times where a guy wakes up in the middle of the night or comes in late at night and goes to the refrigerator and it's all dark and he opens it up and the light turns on and he starts pulling out a loaf of bread and the meats and the cheese, the pickles and the condiments. And Every time I see that clip in a movie, I think, oh, that looks so good. I, I'm hungry now. <laughs> Chad ate his sandwich. <laughs> Actually, I ate half of your sandwich and now you're eating yeah, mine. I'm eating yours. Thanks you were for hungry. Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> we're eating kind of, kind of, a, we're, <laughs> we're kind of eating uh, in a sporadic manner here. Um, Chad, I says, oh, Chad, there's some potato chips in the cupboard. And he says, oh, you forgot. Joel taught us, our son-in-law taught us, to put potato chips inside of our sandwich. And if you've never tried that, ooh, but don't do it like ahead of time. Just do it right, right as you're gonna eat it or the chips will be soggy. But potato chips inside of the sandwich makes the sandwich crunch. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Especially if you don't have pickles or lettuce. If you're short on pickles or lettuce or something crunchy, mm -hmm. yeah, put your potato chips inside your sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, promise that's the last. Bye bye. All right, I lied. Kiss me, baby. Kiss me.